If you are going to be working on the suspension on your 991 Gen 1, please note that all hardware is yield to torque or stretch bolts and needs to be replaced after every torquing. Let's start on the rear suspension. There are two upper control arms indicated by red arrows. The upper control arms connect to the wheel carrier, red arrows, and the chassis via a subframe or what Porsche now refers to as a side carrier. The upper control arms, like all the arms, allow for the movement of the wheel carrier for the shock and springs to function and handles both lateral and longitudinal torque or forces. The upper forward arm is the tow or track arm, red arrow. If you have rear steer, you will have an actuator here. The track or tow arm attaches to the wheel carrier, red arrow, and the side carrier, blue arrow. The arm is used to set tow angle on the car. If you have a vehicle with rear steer, this arm is replaced with an actuator that will adjust the tow in or out while driving, depending on vehicle speed, steering angle, etc. On the vehicles without rear steer, the tow angle is set by a set of concentric washers where it meets the side carrier, red arrow. This arm can be adjusted in place, but to replace it, you need to loosen and move the side carrier. With a bunch of components out of the way, you can see the side carrier, red arrows, and how the arms mount to it and how it mounts to the chassis. From underneath, you can see the lower control arm or the wishbone arm. It connects to the wheel carrier, red arrow, via a wishbone design and to the cross member, blue arrow. This arm sets the camber of the rear wheels. From the side view, you can see how the camber is set by concentric washers, red arrow, where it attaches to the cross member. The wishbone goes on both sides of the wheel carrier and needs to be removed to change the shocks, blue arrow. The lower diagonal arm connects to the wheel carrier, red arrow, and then a mount that connects to the chassis, blue arrow. When servicing it, you will need to remove the diagonal brace, green arrow. On the front, the wheel carriers are connected together by tie rods that connect to the steering rack. The tie rods are two pieces. The outer, red arrow, connects to the inner, blue arrow. These are adjustable where they connect, green arrow, and used to set the toe in on the front suspension. The lower control arm or coffin arm connects to the subframe, blue arrow, and the wheel carrier via a ball joint, red arrow. The triangulation and strength is assisted by a forward diagonal arm, green arrow. Unless you have a GT vehicle, the camber is set by the shock at the top where it meets the chassis. With the wheel carrier off, you can see the ball joint as well as where the coffin arm, red arrow, and diagonal arm, green arrow, connect to each other and the subframe. The forward diagonal arm assists in connecting the subframe to the chassis, red arrow. There are also many other fasteners connecting the forward subframe to the chassis, blue arrow, one example. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.